doesn't seem, oh, there it goes. Um, yeah, a very strong lap. Um, had an issue getting the power down off of turn six, I call it, or the carousel. And um, outside of that, the lap was, was really strong. So very pleased with um, my, my performance out there on track. It was tough to, uh, you know, sit and then go out and you get one shot at making a, a lap on these road course qualifying situations. But I seem to have you know, been able to train myself how to do that and, and get a good lap. So happy. Uh, such a small distance from where we are in third to where Juan is. I uh, wish I could have found a couple hundreds. We'd be over there uh, taking a cool picture. But, um, you know, very excited about tomorrow as well. Our car in race trim, we did a, a nice 10 lap run, I think a 12 lap run actually, and um, the car held pace really nice. So um, hopefully tomorrow's our day to win here. I have questions for Jimmy. We've got the wireless mic for you. We'll bring it to you if you give us your name and affiliation before you ask, please. Reed Spencer with NASCAR Wire Service. Jimmy, what's more difficult, sitting and getting out of rhythm and then having to go run one lap or, or the increased temperatures on the track? when you took the time today? For me, I went a tenth faster in this here, so I'd have to say the, the grip level stayed, from, from my standpoint, stayed relatively close, and it was more about getting out of rhythm. Um, what they do with the Nationwide Series, you get a couple shots at it, yeah, that's a nice way to find your rhythm, and really good, I think, for the Nationwide Series to qualify that way. Um, a lot of the drivers don't have a lot of road course experience or in in these styles, this style of race cars. So the cup level, you don't get that luxury. And uh, to me, it's all about the rhythm. And I, I'm, it was a problem that I have at Martinsville. I'm such a rhythm driver that Martinsville qualifying gets me because we sit on ice for a couple hours and then go back out to run and I, I miss it. But uh, road course wise, I've been doing a lot better job. Would, would you like to see that sort of qualifying maybe tried in cup? Isn't that what they're doing in nationwide? I've been a part of both and I, I don't know. Um, I'm finally, from a selfish standpoint, I'm finally good at this style. And I see a lot of guys make mistakes that I'm, I guess I'm content with it being like it is. But a couple of years ago, I would have lobbied for the other, the other way. Jimmy, Chad likes to co-USA today. Um, with the top 10, very secure, it seems, in points, going for bonus points. And a lot of the guys in the wild card chase going for wins, it seems like just about not many people would be points racing this weekend. Um, how do you expect that to impact the race and, and maybe the, toward the end of the race especially? Yeah, it could if we have late race restarts, which we seem to here. Um, you know, fuel mileage is, uh, is also an area where teams can, um, you know, try to, try to pull something off. Um, you know, people, uh, as you pointed out, everybody everybody wants the bonus points. And with the overall points being as close as they are at the top now, um, I'm, my eyes are set on leading the championship. I want to lead the championship going into the regular or going into the postseason and uh, get some more bonus points so I can be the guy leading when the postseason starts. So, um, you know, that's that's my goal. And I, I feel that we have a good opportunity here with the guys we're racing with um, to finish ahead of them and, and hopefully you know, get up on top of uh, the overall points. But there will be, you know, some craziness taking place during the race. We, we see that on road courses, period. And um, if you're in a position to take risk, I think you'll see a lot of it. Dean over here, please. Dean McNulty, Toronto Sun. Jimmy, uh, making a mistake on a racetrack is always critical. But is it more critical to, to keep from making mistakes on a road course? Are, are mistakes more cost more on a road course than a, than an oval? Yeah, I mean, you have a, a lot narrower racetrack to deal with. And depending on where you make a mistake, you can end up off the, the road. But uh, more than anything, the the uh, count in braking zones, turn in points, and throttle application. And we have basically on an oval, you do that twice in a lap. Sure, there's a lot going on and you got to manage your car, but um, you know, there's at least three major braking zones here, and then uh, two other light braking zones. So you go from you know, two, two sets of corners to worry about to really six or seven, um, and it, it, the, the numbers just work against you there, and there's a, well, there are more opportunities to make a mistake than on an oval. Anything else for Jimmy? All right, Jimmy, congratulations. Good luck tomorrow.